Hello dear children, how are you all? I hope you are safe at home and being at home study properly. So today we are going to see health and environment. Dear friends, actually these days we have more cold, severe cold. What we feel to say, we have to keep, we have to be safe so that we will have proper health condition. And if you are roaming house outside unnecessarily in this climate, you will have sickness. Clear? So that's what we are going to read. We are going to study in this lesson 12 health and environment. So when the environment is good, our health will be good. When the environment is con environment is bad, our health condition will become bad. Who is monitoring? Who is controlling the environment? We people we monitor the environment. Understand? So we have to think that when the environment is okay, good our health also will be okay so in this lesson we will see few examples few examples of how to uh, keep the environment healthy good so that the profit is for us only so our health will be good and our family person family people will be good and surrounding will be good so here in your book it is given ancient romans used to say healthy mind in a healthy body but it is also very true to say today healthy life in a healthy environment clear that's what i say healthy mind in a healthy body but it is a very it's also very true to say healthy body healthy life in a healthy environment right healthy life in a healthy environment that's what i said in the beginning if you are healthy if you want to live in a healthy life you should have healthy environment clear we have some examples here if you live if you live in a unhealthy environment you are sure to get sick sick if you are uh, if you live in an unhealthy environment you are sure to get sick diarrhea is caused by impure water of course dear children if we are living unhealthy environment we will definitely get sick there is no doubt in that we will definitely get sick so another example diarrhea is caused by impure water if you are drinking impure water what will happen we will get diarrhea we should drink proper water getting pure water is very difficult so that people we use ro that very we are purifying water in many machines we need machine for everything right okay the next one asthma is it's a breathing problem caused mainly by polluted air. Of course, most of you know that. Most of you may have that proper asthma problem. What happens? We are not getting proper oxygen. What happened? We are not getting proper oxygen. Whatever we get, it is mixed with the pollution, pollution, polluted air. We are breathing polluted air. So that we are also getting breathing problem and asthma occurs. Right? Yeah. So, be careful whenever you are going to the polluted places, be careful. Okay. And the next one, your home must be neat and tidy. Of course, dear children, don't ever think that, okay, outside is polluted. First, keep your house neat and clean. Then we shall go to the outside. We can tell the people and neat and clean. First, what we supposed to do? Our home must be neat and clean. Clear? Example, what we supposed to do? All waste must be collected in a in a bin and a deposit of properly and regularly if not bacteria can accommodate and cause diseases of course dear children whatever we have waste waste we have to collect everything may properly time to time yet clean collect it deposit in the test bin keep the test bin out of your house not inside clear if you keep it for many days what happened you will get stinking stinking means smelling smelling means bacteria starts which means it starts functioning we will get sick by smelling that clear and another one kitchen waste is maybe used to prop prepared composite for kitchen plants or deposited in the municipality waste bins some some things like a, uh, cutting tomato all these things tomato waste, waste everything you can throw it in the or you can keep throw it in the uh, 
garden plants maybe you can keep it it may grow so some waste cannot be used reused so those things we have to pack it and we have to throw it in that municipality bins so you know the bins okay dust bins it's already uh, government started keeping the dust bins everywhere they're keeping it all right those things we have to throw it out so throwing them on the roads or into the neighbors compound is against the rules of hygiene and decency remember if somebody throws the waste in your house what do you feel you think that ah they are uneducated people they don't have sense you get angry and if they continue to do it you go for filing case against them the same way we also should not throw it anything to other compound it is not decent educated people cannot do that they will not do that so be properly so don't throw anything throw it is place is safe for throwing the waste dustbins so collect everything and throw it in the dustbin people come and collect it people are appointed for taking all these dustbins clear yeah and the next one dirty water from homes schools and offices may be cleanliness underground sorry may be channelized underground properly so these water cannot we cannot uh, keep it on the road factory waste should not be dumped into the rivers and lakes as it pollutes water as it pollutes water and uh, the environment so these water everything may be channelized through pipe or any other way this should be channelized and it should be thrown where people are not surviving in that area we have to throw we have to channelize everything so when it is joined the factory water joins with the lake and uh, everywhere it pollutes the uh, water water pollution so when the people drink the water so that we are not getting proper water i mean pure water because of all these reasons because all these reasons why because we we pollute the air and we pollute the water how we will get proper one we should avoid all these of course all these are necessary all these are necessary but still we have to uh, avoid joining with the proper one clear and the municipalities and the panchayat have uh, devised methods of collecting waste areas area wise of course you can see around your area that are kept uh, blue and green dustbins why will come to know so we have to separate 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 we have to uh, separate we have to divide we have to separate the waste okay we have to separate the waste dried garbage and wet garbage so accordingly we have to throw it clear some of big cities they have col colored garbage bins so you know that's what i said blue blue and green garbage so here we see green garbage bins are for waste that would easily mix with the soil and the waste can become a manager for agriculture so these garbages can be thrown in the green garbage that will be easily mixed with the soil soil means mud it will be mixed and it can be used for agriculture clear and blue garbages are waste that do not decompose these are harmful for the environment like a plastic chocolate bear wrappers plastic papers or uh, it cannot be de decomposed if you throw it in the uh, land what happens it will be there for forever i mean for many years it will not decompose it will waste if you keep any plant in that plant will not grow clear so that we should decompose it we have to uh, separate and throw it okay dear children so the rest of the things we shall continue in the next class but up to here what is supposed to do we should not waste you should not uh, pollute the air we should not throw everything waste everything we should not we should dip, divide it we should separate the garbage we have to separate the garbage and we have to throw it the wet one in that blue one blue garbage and uh, composting this one garbage of the uh, dried garbage it should be thrown in the green gar green dustbin clear so if you do it at least keep your home neat and clean first start from your home so when you start your home then slowly slowly it will become habit so 
at least today you try that at home and the remaining chapter lessons we shall continue in the next class thank you